This is a video tutorial for creating overview or inset maps within QGIS 3.x. And what's happening here is that we are going to create two map frames. And the first map frame is the focus of the map, is the main intent of the map. And the second map is just going to help us orient that main frame within a larger regional context. Or it could be a global context too. So say one continent or one country within a global view or in this case we're going to use the state of Tennessee within a region, the region of the southwestern, southeastern United States. So to get started what we want to do is break our current workspace which has Graticules, state of Tennessee, US states. We want to divide that into two groups. Okay, so you're working along, you're creating your map, you're doing all your symbolization and you're getting to this final step where you want to actually create this overview uh, inset map. And you're simply going to save your project, and then you can just go ahead and make two groups. So the first group is going to be called the main map, M-A-I-N, map. And the second group is going to be called the indicator map, or the inset map. Okay, inset map. Now you need to decide what do you want to put in each. Well, in the main map, I want to put in the state of Tennessee. And I also want to put in some graticules on top just to give some reference to the space. And then for the inset map, I just want to have my U.S. states because I want to situate main map group one within group two. So that's pretty much it for the setup. And then I could go ahead and just save save at this point in time. So I'll just save the project to update it. I have a instance over here of map layout that's just a blank space. So what I'm going to do is just draw my first instance into my map layout. So I want to first turn off the inset map. Okay, get rid of those features, and I just want this to show up within my map. Okay, so I'm going to draw that out. So this could be my main map frame. And here's the map. I'm going to alter the scale so that it's the scale that I actually want. It's a little bit too close. That's pretty good. Need to just zoom out just a little bit. Let's make this 42. See how that, yeah. Okay. So I like my positioning of my current main map frame. I'm going to go over and I need to do two things before I proceed. The first thing is under layers in map one, map properties, I need to click on the lock for lock layers. And I also need to lock the main map. Okay, so nothing's going to happen in this space going forward. We're all set here. I can unlock it and do things if I want to, but for right now, this is exactly what I want. Now let's head back to our main layers. I'm going to turn off the state of Tennessee. I'm going to turn off graticules. They're not going away. I'm just turning them off in my layers panel. I'm even just going to turn off for the safe side to just turn off the main map itself. Now I'm going to click on the inset map. Okay, so the inset map features are going to show up in my next map frame. So here right next to it, I'm going to draw out a new map frame and it's going to render this map. It doesn't touch the first one, which is great. And it renders the features as symbolized in my second inset map grouping. Now what I need to do is I need to set up this scale so that it just shows the region that I'm interested in showing. So here I just want to show Tennessee within the sort of lower part of the continental United States. Let's make the scale, let's try 25. Maybe I'll go down to 22. Okay, that's pretty good. With your inset maps, you want them to be as large scale as possible while still retaining features that the general public can recognize. So we can all recognize Florida. We can recognize the tip of Texas and some of the eastern seaboard coastline is really helpful reference to understand where Tennessee is located. Now the trick with these inset maps, a little extra step that's really helpful, is creating what's called an overview. So the overview is essentially a bounding box. So it's taking the outer extremity of the feature shown in the map, in the main map frame, and it's putting that as a little visual symbolization within your inset map. And there's a couple ways to do this. One, you can actually create the bounding box in QGIS in your main map canvas. The other one that's pretty quick and dirty and easy is just go to overviews. And under over, overviews, you're going to add an overview. So it's the plus button. 
and under the plus button it asks you, well, what do you want to have be the feature? So the map frame that's going to be the feature is going to be map one. Okay, and you can see that it draws the edges of this map frame within this space. If you want this to be a little bit tighter to your feature, you can use the quote bounding box, but you'd have to go make a bounding box within QGIS, as I just mentioned a second ago. So this is kind of a quick, easy way to do these overviews. Now the style might not be exactly what you want, so what you can do is you can go down to frame style and click on that, and you can actually have your property symbology properties for the frame itself. So in this case, under simple fill, let's go to an outline. I want a simple line outline, and I'm going to have the stroke style be a solid line. And actually that looks pretty nice just like that. Um, maybe just a little bit darker. So let me up the stroke width just a little bit. That's good. Maybe even a little bit more. That's pretty good. Maybe right at 50. Dot 50. So let me put that in. Okay. Pretty good. So as soon as that's all set in, you can go ahead and lock that item also. And now you have the raw makings here of a main map frame and then a inset map representation. If I were to fine tune this, I'd probably want the inset map to be a little bit smaller and have the main map frame occupy a little bit more of the map space. But this is the relationship now that we've set up between the two frames, map frames. And again, we just have these features that are sitting over here in our working canvas instance. I can go ahead and, and click on these features now and continue working, doing some more cartographic work if I want to, and go back here and nothing's going to change. And the reason that nothing's changing is because I've locked in uh, the main map frame here. So nothing's going to change there. This step of creating an inset map is really a cartographic uh, function and you want to do this after you've done your GIS analysis work. This is sort of a map production process and you want to get this done at the very end after you've actually done all your GIS analysis work and you feel like you're pretty much done over here in your map layers. Everything's been developed and you just need to put your fine touches on the actual map layout design. So hopefully this is a helpful overview of creating overview maps within QGIS.